The Tower of Fate has just dropped in time for the weekend, and the rewards are very worthwhile. I hope everyone's having fun. And it's great to see my old friend is back. Good old beat this stage in X turns. Hello darkness, my old friend. That's the game's dev solution to gatekeeping. So in this video, I'm just gonna break down the team that uh, brought me to victory. I would highly recommend people going for more aggressive builds and any character that is what I call an engine. And what I mean by this are tile creators or power gauge generators. This has always been the most optimal way to play this game. So disclaimer for the following, I don't have these teams at a very high level, but I'm pretty confident it will get the job done. The most meta team right now, Teen Titans and preferably with Lex because their new buff is just absolutely gross. Filling other members power gauges by 15% when a power move is used and with Lex's passive is just power moves all day. Another viable team is the red team. It's the, it's the classic Wonder Woman, Cersei, Two-Face, Flash, and your strongest fifth member. A blue team centered around Superboy and the Super Family with King Shark will be very good, but my guess is you most likely need Superboy's passive to be at least level 3 to have it be a cakewalk. The green team I'm not too certain, not sure how strong. The green team is with the Green Lanterns, with Jessica Cruz and Hal. I, ju I just don't know if Enchantress and Ivy can supply the, the damage to beat the stages, but I could be wrong. Now the team I used to clear this was with Lex and his passive, the buff team. I started with uh, Waller, Lex, Flash, Two-Face, and Cersei, but the only way I managed to make it past stage 8 was with Waller, Lex, Bane, Joker and Flash. I am level 60, so I apologize if my perspective doesn't fully reflect the challenge you may be experiencing. But my gear looks like this. Waller is tier 9, Lex is tier 10, passive at level 2, Bane is tier 10, passive at level 3, Joker is tier 10, Flash is tier 9, Cersei is tier 10. So in my opinion, if I have Waller, I will try to fit in Joker. Joker's crit damage is out of control. And I've basically tried a lot of other characters that I had at tier 10, but this is what I ended up with. So let's go over the stages. Stages 1 through 3 are hopefully self-explanatory. And then you get jumps in power at stage 4. And the first defeat all enemies in X turns. Which looks like if you can get to chapter 3 in the story, uh, you should be able to beat this. Stage 5 with Superman. I think if you had a green team, or at least with Poison Ivy, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. But I think he's doable since he can be debuffed. Obviously, a lot easier if you have Lex. Stage 6, uh, yeah, just focus on one Enchantress at a time. The healing is annoying, which means you will need the anti-heal debuff on them. So Halo is very strong, Superman, Harley Quinn Suicide Squad. Stage 7 has shield generating characters, so counters like Joker and Aquaman are useful. I personally try to prioritize killing Jon Stewart first. Uh, note if he's alive, people with shields can't be crit. Stage 8 was my first sign of trouble, but if I just took Halo or Superman, that would have taken out the healing involved on the last stage. I personally had to go pure offensive, so no healing. Um, it was the first time I experimented with Bane and Joker with Flash, and that worked out for me. Stage 9, I think it's easy if you can beat Stage 8. A lot of debuffs though, so cleansers would be a nice to have if you need to squeak by. And the last stage, stage 10. I hate to say this, but I think you need a little luck here, and you need it throughout the stage. I mean, you can offset that with pure power if you're at tier 11 or a full tier 10. That's why I think Teen Titan teams and Superboy teams are probably the most consistent. I think you only need about tier 9. In terms of gear. There is a point though in this stage where there's only two starfires left, like at this point right here. Once you kill this first starfire on the left, I would consider you to kill this Lexbot, especially if, if you have AoE. 
I think you can edge out the win if you work on the last three of the stage. I've gotten close a handful of times, but when there's four units remaining, I keep on aiming for the last starfire rather than trying to get to the last area. Because you get to work on killing the last three units and whittle down the two remaining Lex bots as you attempt to kill Starfire. I hope this video helps somebody out there. I understand that not everyone is at my stage in the game. I do think the last stage requires a little bit of luck on your side, so don't give up. And if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And good luck to you guys if you haven't completed this yet. You guys can do it.